What's up guys, Earl here for Tech, and today we are diving into the galaxy of new features Samsung brought with the recently updated One UI 6.0 that came along with the S23 series Android 14 update. Major Android updates bring excitement and enhance experiences and like any big update, it has its pros and cons. In this video, we feature the Galaxy S23 series, but these devices should be getting the update as well. All right, let's roll that intro. Okay, so the first update comes in the form of a cleaner and simpler look with the simplified app icon labels, now limited to only a single line. Apps on the home screen looks cleaner, I guess. The app icons themselves could be a little bit bigger, but for sure, they are a bit rounder as well. The default font also gets an upgrade with the introduction of One UI Suns, which is, in our opinion, isn't too bad unless you love that old default one. Either way, fonts can easily be changed in the settings menu. The quick panel receives what we believe to be a substantial makeover and we have some mixed feelings about it. The update places Wi-Fi and Bluetooth front and center for easy access. Visual features like dark mode and eye comfort shield can be found closer to the bottom when Quam is expanded, creating a more intuitive layout. We are not sure if we liked it or not since the old layout was about one-handed use. This new one kind of eliminates that design language pulling everything a bit higher than they once were. Regardless, it does look as clean in our opinion and Samsung could just be showing off some new paint. Unfortunately, we can't change it back to the old layout. And they even added a setting where you can turn on if you're used to how iPhones and other Android UIs access their quick settings menu by swiping from the top right of the screen. This is a great option if you're coming from an iPhone or whatnot, and we totally appreciate being able to turn that feature on and off. And yes, in typical Android fashion, we can still get two finger swipe from the home screen to do the same thing. We now also get the freedom to reposition the clock on the lock screen, offering you more freedom to personalize your device's appearance and make it truly yours. We all know that we can make up to like five pop-up windows in one UI, but in doing so, the apps that you turn into windows minimize themselves when making a new pop-up. In this update, users can now keep a pop-up window open when you leave the recent screen saving users a few taps in the long run, which in turn could speed up their productivity workflow. Samsung's keyboard gets new emoji design, and they kind of reminds us of iOS ones with more vibrancy and slightly different color choices. It's hard to break down right now, but you can check out CJ's and other Yugatech team ranking emojis from different keyboards in the video right here. Yeah, right here. Stay ahead of the forecast with the new Weather Insights widget providing detailed information about your local weather condition. The weather app itself gets an update with more data and interactive map view and updated visuals and animations. The camera experience reaches new heights with the new custom camera widgets, more watermark alignment options, and quick access to resolution settings. Enjoy pop-ups for video size options and keep your pictures perfectly level and compositions easier frame with the new grid lines that feature a leveler in the middle. We even get advanced intelligence features that allows users to set the intensity of scene optimizer allowing for faster image processing when taking a shot. Now similar to iOS, we can now clip images as stickers and enjoy an enhanced story view and embrace a two-handed drag and drop experience in the gallery. We actually like this a lot. Clip images as stickers as cutouts could be better in the future, but this is totally a welcome addition. We can also adjust decorations after saving, undo, or redo transformations and explore a more user-friendly layout with a new tools menu in the photo editor. We also get a new view in the calendar app called Schedule, bringing your events, tasks, and reminders together in a stack list form. The reminder app even gets a refined list view, 
new categories, and more options for creating reminders, including all-day reminders. The Samsung Internet Browser now allows users to play videos in the background and experience an enhanced tab list for a larger screens, offering more streamlined browsing experience. In the My Files Manager, you can now receive recommendation cards to free up storage space and get insights into which apps are consuming the most storage. Experience a smarter airplane mode. Once users turn on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth while airplane mode is on, your Galaxy now remembers the last setting. The next time you use airplane mode, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth will remain on instead of turning off. Users also get easy access to battery settings and enhanced security with auto blocker protecting your apps and data. There are also new accessibility features added new magnification options, cursor thickness customizations, and a link to Samsung's accessibility webpage makes One UI 6.0 more inclusive. Samsung kicked off the One UI 6.0 journey on August 11, 2023, releasing the first beta version for the Galaxy S23, S23 Plus, and S23 Ultra. As a venture into the future, expect the update to reach other high-end Galaxy S and Galaxy Z smartphones with a rollout to mid-range and entry-level devices by the end of 2023. Once again, here's the list of the confirmed Galaxy devices getting the update. So what do you Samsung Galaxy users think of One UI 6? Do you hate enough, not upgrade and embrace change? If you are already on it, has your battery life dwindled? Let us know in the comment section below. But if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you won't miss any future uploads, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, and do visit yougetup.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Aurel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.